And I don't know where you've been, but you're gonna respect this courtroom. My life has proven that it's not about where you come from, it's about where you're going. From a jailed youth who had my record expunged to becoming the youngest judge elected. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. In just 15 years. Ma'am, let me know when you want to go to rehab. Otherwise, I think you're a crackhead. Absolutely not. My goal is to inspire others to overcome their obstacles. You don't need him and his little raggedy roommate. Thank you. All while having a little fun on Mathis Court. You look like you're ready to lie right the first <laughs> word out your mouth. <laughs> this is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Marcy Young is suing Kyla Miller in the amount of $300. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may be seated. Ms. Young claims she cleaned her co-worker's home for a discounted rate and says instead of being paid, she was called a thief. Ms. Miller is countersuing for $1,795. State your name. Marcy Young. Ma'am. Kyla Miller. All right, and you are suing the defendant for $300, alleging she owes you this money for house cleaning services? That is correct. And you are countersuing for $1,795, alleging that she uh, stole your um, jewelry or something or a household item? Yes, sir. All right, start with you. Me and Kyla have been working for maybe about two or three years uh, together. We hang out sometimes after work. Uh, what have you all done together? What type of uh, we are 911 well, dispatchers. 911 dispatchers, yes. okay. And uh, so sometimes, you know, we hang out after work, drinks, things of that nature. I was telling her about my uh, side business, which is uh, a cleaning business. And for months, she's been telling me that she's been needing me to come and clean. So finally, we text and confirm. She tells me about her house. I give her a price of $300. I walk in the house. Clearly, it's a hefty discount because it was... It was, it was wild. It was like his place. I, I'm assuming so. A catastrophe. So. I'm assuming so. So I had me and my employee, if it's not an apartment, I always have somebody else with me. And we proceeded to clean. And I know we did a good job because I always do a good job. And as we're getting ready to leave, I'm packing up, taking the trash out. She comes storming, cussing us out, telling us to open our MF bags. And I'm just like whoa, you know, hold on, wait a minute, let's slow it down. You need mm -hmm. to open up your bag because my earrings are missing. And I'm like, girl, I don't know. Had she left the house for any time she during was, that cleaning? No. no, she was there the entire time. She was downstairs. Okay, mm -hmm. let me hear from you. All right, Your Honor, so initially I did hire her for her cleaning services. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been friends for about three years and we would go out to eat. I would support her kids, so we had a good... A working relationship and we would hang out after work. So. Yeah, y'all laid off now? We still work at the same time. You place. think that she laid off, okay. she has a full time job, <laughs> she has a business on the side, and she's not laid off. <laughs> so, why would this woman steal from you? That's my point. She is working full time as she always has, and now has a side business, and she's a friend that hangs out with you all the time. But I'll let you tell me. You must know something yeah. I don't know about her. And I wonder the she same thing. She smoke crack on the side? <laughs> Not that I know of. Oh, sir. well, okay. Not well, tell me why you think this friend of yours <laughs> would do that. So you don't smoke, do you, ma'am? I do not. Take pills? I do not. Hair on? No. Go ahead. That's the only folks. Go so ahead, ma'am. Initially, when she arrived that Crystal day... Crystal met. No. <laughs> oh, you were slow about answering that. I, I got you on some wine, though. Uh, <laughs> she a wine, no. If you ain't got to steal to drink wine, you, you can hang out outside the party store and get, and get somebody to buy you a $2 bottle of wine. Go ahead, though. Initially, when she came that day, um, her and her employee, as she said, showed up. But this whole time, she never told me another person was coming with her. We never discussed it or anything, so I don't know who this person is that was at my house. And I'm pretty private. I don't like people at my house. Um, you know, like my items where they are. So I was a little upset when she showed up. And, you know, I didn't want to be weird or anything, so I let them clean. I let them in the house. And about, like, you know, an hour and a half went by, and they were cleaning up and stuff. And as they were coming down, um, I was looking around, you know, just to make sure, because I don't know who this other person is. And as I go upstairs to check my bathroom counter, I notice my uh, hoop earrings were missing off my okay, counter. Okay, so let me go through her with these questions again. The person you had, which? Yes. Are they laid off? 
she, no, she's not laid off, but she does have a new job. Ah, and she ain't got her first check yet. No, she's with me for about a year. She was very reputable. Part time. A lot, a lot of people. Yes. And uh, of, no, no, no. You, we might I, be on to something. Judge, I'm sorry, but I'm telling you, a lot of people requested her for while she was with me, and about maybe about. Yeah, but they ain't had no earrings laying around. This, we, this is a different situation. She laid off. She's not laid off. She smoke crack. She does not smoke crack. Hair on. None. No, Pills. No. Crystal. Crystal meth. No. Ain't nobody took your stuff. Coming up on Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. I told her, you know, I asked her first. I was angry. I did ask her. So when she refused, I decided to call the police because he was these were very valuable earrings. I was hurt. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6870. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Marcy Young, who is suing Kyla Miller for non-payment of services. Go ahead, tell me what, what you believe happened. <laughs> so when I noticed my, my earrings were missing, I was angry because I knew exactly where I placed them on my counter. And I just come running downstairs before they left. When had you placed them there? When I got home that day. So... When did they come? What time did they come? Maybe around 3.30 p.m. Prior to you discovering your earrings, no one had been in the house. Correct. Go ahead. Correct. So I came downstairs, you know, to ask her initially. I was angry, so I was a little bit hostile. A I can't bit? lie. Yes, a little a bit. A little bit? I, I thought you were going to fight me. I asked me. her politely. No. And I did. No. To, you know, show me her belongings, or at least her and her employee empty their belongings. Something a normal Open person would MF do. Open your MF bag. Yeah, no. Open your MF bag. I only bag. did that after you refused, and I tried to be nice about it. You should mm -hmm. sure you should have showed her your badge. We work at the same place, Your Honor. No, I'm saying you're pol you must work on the side as a police officer. I'm going to be, yes. Okay, and well, until you finish, you can't ask anybody to search them. Yes, sir. You're not a law enforcement. Yes, sir. And no one has an obligation. That would be a favor she's doing for you. In general, if my two-year friend I've been hanging out with, we're friends, suddenly... You tell me you want to, you don't just ask, hey, you seen, did she say, have you seen them? Please tell me she no, at least she, said she that first. No, she came down yelling and Please screaming. say she said, have you guys seen my no. earrings? I did ask, have no. you seen my earrings? She's, I asked her, no. have you seen my earrings? No. They said no, and they were looking at each other very confused no. while we all tried to figure this out together. That is not what happened. That you know what, Judge Mathis, I own a reputable black-owned business, and if she would have asked me nicely, I would have opened my bag, but she came at me cursing me out, and that was just out of line. What do you mean? White folks wouldn't do it like that? They could, too. You say you have a black-owned business, I do and have that's a why you would do it. You're business. trying to say that white-owned businesses steal. But what I'm saying is my business talk talking about steal. white people in my court. When you talk about black, there's a up opposite side, white people. I protect white people. <laughs> okay. I don't say nothing bad right. about white people in my court. You got it. <laughs> you got it. Go ahead. They know my politics. <laughs> Go so ahead. So I told her, you know, I asked her first. I was angry. I did ask her. So when she refused, I decided to call the police because he was. these were very valuable earrings. I was hurt that my friend, I thought my friend, you know, would do me the favor of opening her stuff to oh, show me. Okay. If I when the police to... got there, were they still there? No, they decided to leave before the How police. How long came. did it take for the police to come? Probably about 15 minutes. Yes. Wow, I need to move where you're at. Police come in 15 minutes. Where are you all? In L.A.? What? We're in Las Vegas. All right, Vegas. what community? Police come quickly there? No, especially not for they that. They did that day. I they they did that day. Mm -hmm. They did that day. Oh, when I right. called, they came. Did she tell you she was calling the police? She did tell me she was calling the police. So why did you leave out? Why couldn't because you Because she take... was acting like she wanted to fight me. She was getting very rowdy, like I said, cursing me and my employee out, and I thought it just wasn't a good situation. Why would I sit there and wait for the police? And I know for, as 911 dispatcher, I know that this isn't serious, and it might take them an hour and to you know there. how long it takes. You send the police, That's so you I'm, know how long it takes. Exactly. That's your profession. 
question exactly. is to see how long it takes for the police to get to the to the uh, resident that has called them. Right. You say, police, the person called 911. Miss Marcy, I got an emergency. Mm -hmm. Can you call the police? Mm -hmm. You say, boom, hang up. Police, get there as soon as you can. Then you're able to see on a board or something that shows how long and how far they are away. So That's when the person crazy. call you back, they're two minutes away. Yep. So she knows that operation. So I don't believe that she would assume it's going to be 15 minutes, first of all. And then, but on the other hand, if you thought it was going to be 15 minutes, you could wait in the car. You didn't have to wait for her, but she wouldn't, I wouldn't assume she would think it would only be 15 minutes. The average police call on something like that. Where unless you told them you felt in fear of your life, they're not coming for an hour. They're not coming. It's a non-emergency to them. My house cleaner, I can't find my earrings, and the house cleaner's the only one could have taken them. What did they tell you? Yeah, it was the uh, fact that I was their coworker mm -hmm. in the same community. So, you know, they respond faster for their own. And they told they took a report for me. They did. So when they came there, they were already gone, and they ended up taking the report for me. Okay, a report. So what did they do and about the report? Did I have they the invest right. No, tell me. Did they investigate they, it? They did. They got their story from me. They asked me what happened. No, so. investigate. They that did. They, they, from you. they, they got did. their story from you on the report. Right. I'm saying they follow up. When police believe, have a reasonable suspicion that it occurred, not even probable cause, a reasonable suspicion that what you're saying might be true, they assign a detective yes. to investigate. So did you get that? Yeah, they're still investigating right now. Okay. Yes. When is the last time you spoke with them? About a week ago. And they... And they said, we're still investigating. Correct. Coming up. Judge Mathis, I believe that she has some type of memory problems because during the time, and maybe because we were drinking too, but as I was telling her, if it's not an apartment, I always bring somebody with me. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Marcy Young, who is suing Kyla Miller for non-payment of services. When did the incident occur? Um, it occurred about maybe six months ago. Okay, six months is taking them to even tell you that they're investigating. All right. I'm tempted to think that they told you it was a civil claim and take it to court. That's when I'm tempted to believe. Uh, they didn't tell you that. Initially, the detective, after the week, told me it was I a civil claim. I knew the truth was going to come out. She's going to talk to me about law enforcement. I know y'all do the fire department, but this yes, is sir. my area. But nonetheless, um, you're here being sued yourself for failing to um, pay for the services you provided. Yes. And she's saying that she don't think she should pay because she believes you did it. Now, what about bringing this person with you? I am unable to bring her with me. I don't know. I'm saying to clean the home. She oh, has sorry. stated yes. that she didn't think it was appropriate for you to bring a stranger into her home to help clean. Now, see, Judge Mathis, I believe that she has some type of memory problems because during the time, and maybe because we were drinking too, but as I was telling her, if it's not an apartment, I always bring somebody with me. She told me she had upstairs, downstairs, three bedrooms. I can't do that in two hours for $300, and I yeah. typically charge $500. And, you know, so for me, yes, I'm going to bring somebody. I didn't tell her who, but yes, I always have somebody yeah. with me. And that's, me. that, that, if it's a home, that is uh, typical. Yes. Coming up. My son, the bailiff, rather, told me that there's a lie detector test yeah, that you all have taken. Yes. Test, yep. All right, well, this making this easy. Yeah. Who has the results? I can you, get it for you. You have them? Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Marcy Young, who is suing Kyla Miller for non-payment of services. If you have a house, a three-bedroom house, unless you're going to spend seven hours there, you can't 
complete a three bedroom house with how many levels? Two levels? It's two levels. With two levels. And how many hours did? I was there she, about two hours. She expect you would have been there for double that time, I'm at least it was four to five hours. Yes. So it's reasonable for someone to bring someone if they are, you just perhaps don't know the industry. The most irritable thing to me in, in the world is our housekeeper putting my stuff in different places than they found it. That irritates me to death. If it's something that's customary, people don't ask. It's customary for you to be sworn in. It's customary for you to say your name in court. So you don't come in here asking, Judge, do I have to be sworn in? Judge, do I have to say my name in court? No, you wouldn't ask me because you know that's customary to be sworn in. So it's customary to bring two people for a two-level, three-bedroom house, I would suspect. Uh, so that's where I am with her bringing the second person. However, you are responsible for whatever that second person did. Now, you didn't told me already the second person smoked crack, not smoked crack. What'd they do? She Some, didn't do anything. No, she only worked part-time. Yes. Well, that's one step from smoking <laughs> crack. You didn't already <laughs> told me that she works part-time, and therefore, she might be in need of money. How long have you known her? Um, I've known her on and off. She's a family uh, friend, but she's worked with me about a year. On and off, mean in and out of rehab. No. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean on and off? What do no. you mean by on and off? Uh, no. How will Judge Mathis rule? Find out when Mathis Court returns. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. All right, ma'am, um, the $300 is right along with her counterclaim of $17.95, and you have the obligation to prove it. So you have the obligation that she owes you because you clean. Yes. And I'll grant you your $300 for doing that Thank because you. she did clean, correct? Correct. So the issue now becomes your $17.95 for the price of the earrings. Well, there were two people there. However... She is your employee. So the issue becomes, did you really put your earrings in there? And how do we know you did? My son, the bailiff, rather, told me that there's a lie detector test yeah, that you all have taken. Yes. Test, yep. All right, well, this making this easy. Yeah. Who has the results? I can you, get it for you. You have them? OK, thank you. You know, when you live like that, you just forget a whole bunch of stuff. But I know where everything is. You know, and I've never lost is, anything. Your mind is your surroundings, oh, and yeah. her surrounding is very cluttered. I right, so employee, because nothing was missing before you came. Did you, Marcia Young, steal the defendant's diamond hoop earrings? I did not. Well, lie detector says you did. Wow. No, your claim I, is dismissed. I knew it. Your claim no. is dismissed. And you know, I would like granted. another lie detector. I knew it. I knew no, it. I did not All steal your lies. earrings. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff has been ordered to pay $1,795. Any uh, final words? One's a thief, always a thief. Uh, mm. Clearly, I am not a thief. Well, you hire them. So. I am not a thief and Apparently not. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.